All right, folks, let's walk down here where Rocky is. I'm going to show you the equipment that we're going to be using. And it's pretty heavy stuff right here. Now, <clears throat> what we have is a Jimmy Houston rod, six and a half feet long, medium heavy action. And you're fishing with 14 pound test red Cajun. And he's got a doggone good reel on there too, folks. That's, uh, oh, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> say, Richard, uh... It's a cadence. cadence. I have got so many reels, I lose track, but that's they're good reels. It's seven, three and one gear ratio on that reel. Yeah. And we're both using lizards. This is what we're going to target our fish with, just a zoom lizard. Uh, tequila Sunrise. I'm using a one-eighth ounce bullet weight, and you're using a, what size you use? I think it's a size up from that. One size. He's probably using a three-sixteenths or a quarter. Yeah, I think so, a quarter. Now I have mine pegged with a rubber band. The reason why I'm doing that is I'm keeping keep it in intact in position on, on the lizard. Hey, and there was a fish ooh. right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he knocked that would have been perfect, out. Rocky, if you'd have caught <laughs> he that. Yeah, he, he just didn't have the hook. Look at that, look at that. Uh, oh, that no, no. oh, there's a big sand. There's some big fish in here, folks. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. Now, this is really big fish. Really big fish. Yeah. Now, this is a cadence reel right here. It's the CS10. And I have it loaded with 15 pound test P line mono with a cadence rod, seven foot cadence rod, medium heavy. Well, let's get busy. It's just, uh, it's just one of those things. Now, we've got, we both have Gamagatsu hooks. Now, I'm using a 3 alt right here. Uh, I might go down to a 2 alt. 3 alt's really not necessary in, in that length of, or the diameter of the lizard. What it is, folks, I'm stuttering. Y'all know how I am. I'm wanting to catch a fish, and there's some big ones in here. That was probably a 10-pounder right yeah, there. Yeah, know. There's been some 12, 13s come out. Oh, my, 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 my. Yeah, that is. It's a gravelly bottom right there. in about two feet of water, folks. And, you know, I'm just leaving that bait in there just as much, I'm just making little short hops is all I'm doing. Just little deliberate hops, maybe put a little bit of that in there. <laughs> a little bit of, uh, 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 leave it there. And I'm just moving it a few inches at a time. I seen a big, did you see that? Even though this is the shallow end of the lake, they could be some big fish just roaming right here, looking for a blue. Yeah, they'll move around, they'll separate from cover, but like these big trees and stuff laying down, these blowdowns, they'll be there, but they'll be not in the cover because it's not sunny, they'll just be separated from it. So I feel like when we get around some of these trees, that's where we're gonna catch our better fish, but you can't never tell, they just, Probably just roaming around looking for a good bluegill to eat. There's a fish, folks. There we go. If I can get him out, this is a big one right here. This is a big fish right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, Richard got him a bigger down there, boy. Folks, I can't tell y'all how this bass is pulling right here. This is a good one. That's what they'll do. They'll go right in a tree. So you got to set the hook pretty quick and get him out. That ain't a bad one. That ain't a giant, but that's a good quality fish. Oh, yeah. Look at there. Look, Look at there. there. Look at there. Hey. Yes, Rocky sir. has That's taken me to his honey <laughs> hole. <laughs> Thank you. That's good a good fish. I'm glad you got your nice in there. Me too. I caught several small ones down yeah. through there, but, well, it don't matter to me, but well, when I yeah, set the we hook. We're here to catch big fish. We know the end here. We did, and that's, that's a good one right yeah. there. Folks, that's a good fish right there. I hope y'all can see me. It's really raining hard, but let's let this fish go, and let's catch another. Mm. All right, folks, let's revive this big girl. And let her go. That's the best part of it right there. Woo! 
doggone. I made an adjustment right here, folks. I'm going to show you what I did. That's a little bit different than the way I started out. What I've done is I've got a 1 16th of an ounce bullet weight and a 2 alt Gamakatsu or Gamagatsu hook EWG and I went to a black and red fleck lizard because it's kind of getting darker. I like those dark, dark baits on days like this. And uh, I'm just text posing like that. See how straight that lizard is? So I did make it a little adjustment. And I felt like the one eighth was probably a little heavy, falling a little quick, but may have not have been, but I, that was the instinct that I had. So let's get in here. What I'm going to do is fish this tree from a different angle. And it's a different part of the tree, too. So we're going to slip in here really quiet. What I try to do fishing like this, whether it's with a lizard or a plastic worm, I always believe and I always have that it's a more realistic presentation. Use the lightest weight that you possibly can. And you can keep that bait in the strike zone longer. See, I'm just barely, barely moving it. And when the bass hits, Within three seconds, I'm setting the hook. There's no need to let them run very long at all. Three, four seconds, go ahead and put the steel to him. Hmm. There he is. Uh-oh, we can make have a good one this time. Oh yeah, it's big in here. I got me a big one, I think this time he pull it. Oh yeah. Got a big one, Richard! Richard! Look here, boys. Ooh. Get my hand out of the way. There we go. It's a nice fish right here. This is kind of what we're looking for. Anyway, they're biting. Oh, come here, fishy, fishy. Yeah, look at here. Nice one. That's a pretty fish right there. Look here. Beautiful fish. He won't let her go now. Old Richard catching him down there. There we go. Come here. See if we can't snatch up a nut. Okay. There's a fish, folks. There we go. Richard got him another. They biting good now. Is that a good one, Richard? Oh yeah. That's a good one right here. That's a good one right here. They, woo! I tell you what, folks, fishing, quit, quit, get out of there, get out of there, is a sport. Well, it's second to none. My goodness, that fish is pulling, pulling, pulling. They, my, 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 my. That's a little better fish right there. <laughs> Dead, gone it. I'm sorry, folks. Well, the ones of y'all that's been watching knows there's a little something wrong with me. I can't help it. He ain't hooked bad at all. Just barely, barely. I was lucky catch that fish barely look at there look at there now look at there let's let him go go on back in there dog go on let's catch another now, hey i wished it would rain there's a cheer somebody been sitting out here by Ned, somebody been out here sitting in a cheer on it see what we can do right here. Rocky's working a treetop right there. I'm just going to pitch one right there. That water's probably around two feet right there where I'm at. This is a little deeper bank like I mentioned. Which I really don't think has anything to do with it. Like I said, uh, conditions like this, bass, there's fish right there. <laughs> I missed him. <laughs> oh, no. 
Uh, that was probably a little old bitty and the kind that old Clarence catches. Let me try that again. And it might have been a big bluegill. I don't know, but I'm gonna put it right back in on top of his head. I know that. Now what I did right there, I'm fishing close to start with. And over, if they were several fish here, see I'm fishing close first and then I'm reaching out farther and farther and farther. That way I don't catch a fish on the end. If I catch one on the end of the cast, it could spook what's towards me. So I'm, I'm so there is a little strategy in this. Not much, but, but that one sixteenth ounce bullet weight to give it a slower fall it is really paying off right now, folks. Let's catch another. There's fish, folks. There we go. That's a good one. Pretty good fish. Y'all see how shallow that fish bit? He's leaving a mud trail. Y'all see that? <laughs> yeah, he did. My goodness, this is a lot of fun. That's what I was talking about. Let's get right over here where I caught the fish. We still got him on, so it don't matter. All right, right there's where he bit. Now I'm in, now I'm a carpenter, remember, 10 inches of water. That's where this fish right here bit, 10 inches deep. When it gets overcast like that, they will get shallow, ultra shallow. Not only in ponds or small lakes like this one, river systems and lakes, they don't make any difference. It's easier for them to catch and feed on prey. That's just all they are to it. Let's get her plars out. Them EWG hooks or something else. Owners or um, Gamakatsu. Let's get him off right there. There he is. Not no giant, but a pretty good fish. Let's let him go in there. Okay. Woo. Oh. A big old snake land right there, right there next to that can. I don't know if you can see him or not. And I got a big fish on. Oh yeah. Oh here we go. Good one. Good one. I'm gonna bring him right up by that snake right there. See it? <laughs> Ooh, big old cotton mouth down there. Uh, come on, bass. Oh yeah. Got me pretty nice. Yeah. They all nice. What you got there, Rocky? Oh, pretty nice little bass. That's but, a chunk. Hey, yeah. he ain't very. Right. He's heavy. Look at that chunky yeah, thing. He chunk. I pulled him right up next to a big cotton mouth right down there. Did you? Yeah. Let's catch that good cotton mouth. I don't know about that. Man. A lot of people, farther up in the hills, they eat them. Can y'all see him down there? Watch him now, he'll grab that. Look at that. That is a big banded water snake. It's not a cotton mouth. But they can still bite the far out of you. Man, that'd be a good place to catch one. I'm fishing parallel to this blowdown right here, which y'all can see. Just working it little hops right beside those limbs. I'm feeling one every once in a while. A limb. Just leaving it there. Y'all see that? <laughs> that was a little bass. Oh, let's see if we can catch him. When you're hitting them limbs like that, it makes a noise. It, it, it creates an awareness if, there, if a fish is holding there. So that's important. They, they know everything that's going on in their environment. Now this is a pretty good sized pond. You could almost consider it a small lake, but even the smaller ponds, I'll focus my efforts close to the bank, folks, because there's not much on a long cast as far as cover. So that's the reason I'm fishing close to the bank right here. In front of visible objects that I can see. 
So a parallel cast is normally what I depend on. There's a fish, folks. There's another good one. Got another pretty good one right here. He ain't bad. Don't you see that fish jump? They. That's about a, about a three pound fish right there, and he's holding on that piece of cover right there, folks. Let's get down here and we'll let him go. No, he's about two and a half pounds, probably. But when I lighten that weight up, it's starting to do a lot better for me. It's a more natural presentation. Let's let him go. Elmo still, not Elmo, Clarence has still got them old hair in his nose. Won't clip them. Can't breathe. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no. Now, that was a big one, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> Can't help it. Now, you worked for that fish, didn't that you? three big fish get off. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is, man. It's just that way. Hook him little ones in bed. That was a big fish, yeah. I mean, he's over three pounds, wouldn't he? Oh, that fish there was seven, eight pounds. Oh, he my goodness. He, he made the place out there bigger than the foot of my truck. <laughs> no, he's big. <laughs> Well, folks, we're going to call it a day. i got about an hour to drive home, but I've enjoyed it, Rocky. Yeah. This is the second time I've fished with this old boy, and he's not only one of the greatest hunters I've ever met. Oh, no. He's a doggone good fisherman. Yes, you are. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. Keep that one foot in front of the next one. Hey, doggone. Here we go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Woo. And remember, go fishing when you can, because it's good for you. <laughs>